What's up, guys? It's May 23rd, 2024, and we finally had the bear day we've all been waiting for. Um, Double top, went sideways, bullish, went for the breakout and a reverse. We got outside bar on the daily chart. Nice looking bear flag on the 45 minute chart. Only two bull, bull bars, so that was a pullback, and then we sold off. Pretty good for the bears, pretty bad for the bulls. I think we're going to be in a range now because now we've completed the market cycle. From this perspective breakout channel range so now it's this is the end of the market cycle and now we have another market cycle right here breakout channel range so the market cycle is working give me two seconds i'm gonna mute the mic so yeah it's pretty cool um let's get into it it's kind of late here so i'm gonna make it a quick one oh this bar okay i was like what the hell gap up good for the bulls bar one is a bear bar bad for the bad for the bulls good for the bears we're trading above the resistance here past couple days resistances i think all-time highs so the high of this is 58.25 the high of today is 68 okay so it's not all-time highs uh, the overnight price action was a little bit higher and then we reverse bar two good fall bad um bad for the bulls good for the bears it's the minimum it's just not a bull body bar three has a tick and the bears are getting gaps at open so there's a bar up there there's one gap two gaps so the bears have two gaps at the open and they stayed open that's good that's good for them i got the hiccups of course i do right when i start <laughs> Bar five, strong bar breaking out between the high, but they're breaking out. Bar five is breaking out the higher time frame EMA and the lower time frame EMA. Then we go sideways and create a double top. Bulls that bar bought the high of bar nine buy more here and they get out on the top of bar 14. The high of bar 14, I think this was a double top. The high of bar 14 is 36.25. The high of bar 15 is 36.25. So that's good for the bears because that's a real double top. That's a micro double top with a real double top. So that's really good for them. Then they get four legs lower. I mean, four bars lower. One, two, three, four. I was counting this as a leg one, pull back leg two, pull back leg three. Or you can say leg one, pull back leg two. Second leg trap. We're in a range bound environment. Bar 19 is an outside bar, right? It went one tick below. Whoa, what the heck? Bar 18 is 17 even. Bar 19 is 1675. So I went one tick below and then reversed up and made an outside bar because we could see the highest past that. Bar 20, strong breakout bar. We pull back into the EMA and then bulls get three legs higher, creating a wedge top here. Here's the wedge top. There's the wedge top. Again, nested wedge with a, it's a bear flag. So bear flag with two nested wedges Failed reversal, two gaps. I think the context to get short here is really nice. And bears get the full on breakout. Leg one, pull back, leg two, pull back, leg three. But this is strong enough for its own leg, and then that creates a breakout. Mark cycle resets, leg one, pull back, leg two, pull back, leg three, and we go sideways into the EMA. Very strong day for the bears. I know today, today was a kind of a quicker one. It was a breakout, so here is yesterday's range, the high and the low. We reversed above it, and then we break out of the low and go for projected move, but ultimately failed by the Bears. They they, they missed it by um, five points, but I did want to point out, when it comes to point counting, this was an 80-point trend, 85-point trend. I counted 80 right there at 60. I was like, yeah, the market's going to go sideways because 80 is pretty much the max trend. It's the rare one. So, point counting, learn it in the trade room. Here is the daily chart. We went over that already. My bad, I got caught up today doing a bunch of stuff. So, it was a bit of a short one. I hope you guys are doing good. I'm, I'm, if you guys are hearing this, I'm at work. I'm not trading today. I'm pretty annoyed with that. But it's not forever. Just for maybe a few more months, hopefully. I can get these accounts. I keep coming really close to the payouts. I got, I, I submitted one payout and got denied because of... Uh, I lost too much and then I made it back, but it didn't count, I guess. 
So I'm getting closer to the payout. I haven't been able to last this long. Anyways, this was the first time I requested a payout. Have a good one, guys. I appreciate you guys always tuning in and showing support. The channel is growing. I'm meeting a lot of people. Ask me questions. I trade price action from the outbooks perspective. Have a good night, everybody. Thank you. Bye.